Hello everyone, my name is Clara and welcome to Recipes with Clara, a channel where we give you recipes that are workable at home to enhance your hospitality. And today we have another one again of our delightful uh, uh, recipes. We want to make bread rolls or bread scones, you know, uh, the name you would want to go by, uh, brown, partially brown, and I'm sure you will enjoy them, just making bread in a different way. And so before we continue, as is always our custom, we want to pray to the giver of creativity to make this process a delight for you. Thank you, Lord, that you're with us. You will grant us your fruitfulness, your creativity, for me and for the viewers, for your glory as we try out this and many other recipes in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so we get to our ingredients. I have two cups of uh, flour here. One is all-purpose flour. The other one is your brown flour or atta or wholemeal flour. I have uh, three-quarter teaspoon of uh, yeast. Just make sure your yeast is fresh and good. I have uh, two cup, two teaspoon, two tablespoons, sorry, of sugar. You could do more, but mine are two tablespoons. I have a third, a cup of oil. I have one egg beaten. I have three quarter cup of milk that is warm, and then I have. Uh, teaspoon of marge or fat to grease our pan later on and a little flour just to dust it and so we will begin right on with our ingredients we will mix in our yeast because we are sure this yeast is okay it will do just fine um, and please remember to put in a pint of salt I didn't say that a pint is just um, get into your salt pinch it out and what comes out is what we will use so I have mixed up the dry ingredients and so I will pour in the wet ones and then just knead them into a soft dough Yeah, so I've made this into, I've kneaded it quite, and then now I will put it here so that it can rise. We will actually let it rise uh, three times because this will cause it to really um, get fluffy. We will get really fluffy bread scones. So I just put it down there in my bowl, and then I'll cover it. I'm just giving it some space upward to right so i'll cover it and take it you either take it out to the sun when it's a bright sunny warm day but now because uh, i want you to do this even when you don't have sun uh, i have my hot water here the water is about a quarter of the pan so that it doesn't burn up our yeast because the yeast needs to rise then i'll cover it with a table mat and place this on top on top of the water and then we give it about 45 to one hour and then we will come and check on our dough yeah so we've done about an hour and actually remember if your yeast is getting older this can take longer than an hour so because we want our bread rolls uh, to get really fluffy inside we will beat it down again and then I use either that microclimate you saw me do or take it out in the sun so cover so that this doesn't form a hard crust with a lid like I did or you can also use clean film to do that yeah so this is now the second time that we uh, this time I decided to take it outside because it's really sunny and uh, it's risen again so what we will do now we will grease our pan and dust it so, um, 
putting it down again and then I'll divide it into about eight parts then I'll show you what we will do so I'll try to estimate them into eight or so pieces actually eight because those are the ones I feel will fit into my pan so I'm just uh, kneading it a little and then I will make it into a small uh, uh, a small what elongated something like that then I'll fold it kind of then I do it a little longer you see that then I'll fold it by there you can knead and just make into circles or you can fold like this and then place it in so I'm going to do that to each of the eight so just do as you've seen me do or just knead it and put them as individual balls or do what I'm doing that way and space them was our last one yeah so what I'll do is I will cover again and take it out to the sun or like you saw a warm micro environment and give it about 20 or 30 minutes then we will bake them so that's how the reason that's about 25 to 30 minutes you can see that so now we want to bake on top and like you have seen in our other videos this is how we bake without an oven I will switch on to full flame for a few seconds just to kind of heat the pan up and then we will reduce the flame to the lowest that you can get remember when I say lowest I mean lowest because that's what will bake your scones so those are a few seconds so don't reduce like that because that's the normal way your gas you know the way your gas gets to the lowest but we will do as though we are switching off this can really um, uh, you can struggle with this uh, because you take it to the lowest as though you're switching off then you get it to the lowest the lowest and then bake your scone so we are going to do that so you can see that the lowest very very low and so now you can bake your scones for about 30 minutes and then I'll show you what to do after 30 minutes yeah we've done 30 minutes and so that's how they they look yeah if you want to make the top look even better you can dust them with a little egg white on top I ran out of my eggs so I couldn't do that so we want this upper part also to brown like the rest of the underside so we will turn it this way uh, if you've been with us for any number of uh, recipes you know this is how we turn then we get another clean lid turn it over like that and then get it to the underside so we will give it about 10 or so minutes and then our bread scones or rolls will be done now we have our final product just look at those scones and how you they look really you wouldn't believe they have been done without an oven as you saw and so this tells you that you can do your bread scones the same way or your rolls and really enjoy them and so if you would want a simple recipe like this one please consider joining us like subscribe share and be part of this channel so that you can receive notification every time we put up a simple recipe just like this one and so thank you for joining us and as we say bye we will be left enjoying our scones you can see that looking very nice and uh, brown and uh, delicious so until our next video it is bye from us